Hi everyone and welcome back to today's morning report with me Richard Perry Market Analyst at Hantech Markets for Tuesday the 25th of March. The chart I'm going to look at now is on dollar yen and uh, well I'm finding it increasingly difficult to actually find interesting things to say about dollar yen because it um, once more it's settled into a trading band. Uh, this is the daily chart. We're in a broad band between 101.17 you would argue and 102.83 now and uh, technical indicators are increasingly flat and very um, very much unable to give us any guidance on that. You'd still argue that the, the trends are higher, the, sorry the uptrend's higher, the 200 day, sorry the, that's actually the 144 day moving average but the 200 day moving average is also higher. 144 day moving average seems to be finding a base of support so arguably that is something to keep an eye on. Uh, so we move into today and once more this is the trading band we were in last week broke to the upside pretty much hit the target bang on uh, it's now formed another trading band over the past few days um, between 101 you'd argue between 101.95 and the high at 102.68 you're still underneath this uh, key band of um, sorry which has acted as the pivot level 102.83 still under there so you'd be trading that band, I suppose, any sort of dips towards 102 big figure, you'd ch use chance to buy and probably close out profits around 102.50, 102.60. That's probably the only way that you can actually trade dollar yen at the moment because it's showing no signs of a breakout. And um, I'd imagine that uh, it's it's the reason it's uh, become increasingly flat is that um, there's no uh, there's a bit of a um, a, a lull in uh, in the um, geopolitical events in uh, Russia, which uh, has basically been driving this over the last few sessions. So um, I think that is uh, making dolly yen rather difficult to read, um, and all you can do is really trade this range for now, as it uh, shows li very little sign of any breakout. So that's my appraisal on dolly yen. Um, very neutral and uh, not really much going on. Momentum indicators flat, not really doing a great deal. And uh, that is it. Moving averages, again, very, very neutral and flat and not doing a great deal. I mean, it's yes, drifting back towards the lows of the range, but you could argue that's probably a buying opportunity within the range once more. So that's probably the way to play this chart today. Anyway, I wish you good luck in your trading on Dolly Yen, and I'll speak to you later.